It's time for notes. Today, we're going to take notes on the order of operations. Order of operations. And then the date is 9-13. And bring this down a little closer. There we go. So your table of contents will now have one, two, three, four, five, six entries, starting with whole number place value, then estimation, then multiplication with the zeros trick, then multiplying two digit by three digit numbers, then basic division, and now order of operations. So we're going to go past all of these on the way to our order of operations page. We're almost there. Ah, uh, we're there. All right, so let's go ahead and put the date. Remember, we use that as our page number. And then what we're going to do is we are going to write the title. Order of operations. And just like every time, we are going to include our essential question. Our essential question is how can the order? that we solve a problem affect the answer. So our essential question is how can the order that we solve the problem affect the answer? Go ahead and at that point to column note. So you can just draw a line down the middle while you do that. Let's just talk really quick. Order of operations. Remember your operations are plus minus multiply divide. So addition, subtraction, multiplication, division are your operations. Now, we have to calculate in a certain order so that everybody that does the problem, no matter where they are in the whole entire universe, gets the, per the answer the same. So first off, let's talk about what you might see when you are trying to do the order of operations. So the first thing you might see is called an expression. You've seen these many, many times. An expression is basically a problem with no equal sign. Four times two is an expression. Three plus five is also an expression. They're math problems with no equal sign. So an expression has no equal sign. No equal sign! The next one we're going to talk about is called an equation. So when we come back, we will discuss the equation. See you soon. Bye.